This is Inside LaGrange, and that's me, Director of Development Mark Davis, when I was a freshman here at LaGrange College. My wife Jolene and I met here in 1993 when I offered to carry her tray in the cafeteria. We were engaged in December of 93 and married on April the 20th, 1996. According to LaGrange College's Office of Alumni and Community Relations, at least 311 couples, 311 couples that we know of, have met here as students and married just since 1990. This being Valentine's season, we're taking a look at some of the romantic customs and traditions observed at LaGrange College. This window, for example, rescued from the renovation of Smith Hall in the 1980s. What's special about the window is that whenever the young ladies would get engaged here at LaGrange College, I was told that they would take their engagement ring and etch on the window pane their initials and maybe a date. It also let them know if the ring was a real diamond or not. Felicia Moore is in charge of the Lewis Library's Super Archives. As you know, look, LaGrange College uh, initially started out as an all-girls school. The president would be almost like their father, their father away from home. So the, the young ladies, whenever they left the campus, they had to sign out. This is one of these books where they, uh, it's a ledger, where the students had to sign out. And if you flip through here, you will see where the young ladies were, um, they were signing out to leave campus for all types types of events, such as going walking. Uh, they sometimes they put down going to town. I also think it's very funny that um, sometimes the girls were late coming back from those date from the from their show. Lagrange Female College became Lagrange College in 1934, opening the door for males to attend. But it wasn't until 1953 that the school officially became coeducational. Mike Barbara and Julia Glenn arrived here as freshmen in 1970. They met as strangers and left as family. We met here. We didn't know each other before we arrived on campus. And we realized we were the ones for each other, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are grateful for the opportunity we had to come to LaGrange College. It's just a special place. It feels right and it always has. And I think that giving back I think that's very important because you can help in that transformation for someone else. The Barbers have been faithful givers to the LaGrange College Fund over the years, helping pave the way for hundreds of students like Hunter Connell and Jason Jonas to dream big. And the way he proposed to his future wife was one for the books. So this is a ball that when we got engaged in uh, 2016, uh, it was actually May 21st, 2016, uh, I, I, I was graduating from my master's degree and um, I had our families waiting in this lobby and I had this ball sitting at half court and we came in <laughs> and I said, Hunter, go pick that ball up and she picked it up and I tur she turned around and I was waiting on my knee, so. Very creative proposal. Follow past the front of Smith Hall, over the parking lot and to an isolated ridge on the edge of campus and you'll discover their spot. Derek Bowen and Carol Pounds fell in love as students at LaGrange and recently gifted a bench to permanently commemorate their special place on campus, dedicating it to their beloved pet Beamer and several of their alumni friends. If you're interested in placing a bench on campus with a plaque commemorating a relationship or an event that changed your life, get in touch with our office. Most everyone who has ever attended LC has had a favorite spot. For more than 40 years, the Red Brick patio beside Smith Hall was the daily gathering place. Here, friends shared the latest news, sweethearts met here before class, then returned later to sit and talk and dream. Still today, many of our happiest college memories are associated with this place, this simple red brick patio. With the creation of Glover Garden, the red brick pavers were removed. But this area is so fondly remembered that our development office is offering commemorative bricks from the old patio in exchange for a gift to the LaGrange College Fund, which offsets tuition costs and helps provide important resources for students. For $25, you can pick up your brick from campus, or for a $35 donation, we can ship it to you anywhere in the United States. Go to this address and fill out the form, or contact Lauren Knowles, Assistant Director for the LaGrange College Fund. There are only a few left, so get yours today. 
Thanks for watching. Inside LaGrange, we'll be back again in March.